Monday, the 5th of November, 7.52 a.m. It's 69 degrees outside, which is tolerable. It's not 75 or 78, so I'll accept it. Uh, I'm a mess. I just got off the treadmill, um, and I'm trying not to have to wash my hair today. I'm gonna jump in the shower, but I really don't wanna have to wash my hair. So I pulled it straight out of the ponytail so it wouldn't, anyway. So um, I only ran two and a half miles today. Um, just was tired, so. But my every day in November is moving along. It is the fifth and I have run every day. <laughs> Ooh, five days. Um, we'll see how that goes, especially traveling next week. I, it's difficult when it's the kind of visit we're going for. This is not a, you know, fun visit. This is a take care of grandma visit. So um, we're typically kind of busy. So anyway, uh, that means I have to get up very, very early in the morning to go for my run and take a shower, get dressed, all that stuff, so. Okay, so I just ran to my P.O. box. You guys are the sweetest. I got a postcard. I think that's so cool. From Suzanne. You're so, so sweet. First of all, thank you so much for using my links for ButcherBox and for Grove. That is awesome. I love it when you guys tell me so I can thank you because like with Grove, ButcherBox, um, Rocksbox, things like that, they don't tell me, or uh, Fashion, they don't tell me who clicks on my link. Um, and Stitch Fix really is the only one that I get an actual name, not an email. Sometimes I'll get an email, sometimes I'll get um, like your username or something and I'm like, I'm not putting your username up on my screen, so, or your email. So, Suzanne, thank you so, so much. I appreciate so much your postcard and you're using my link. You're so sweet. I, I, I did not know that about where you live, just so you know, and uh, I think that's awesome. Thank you, that was such a nice surprise. Um, I went to go drop off some things to ship out and to return, and, uh, this was in the P.O. box, and that was very, very sweet. Thank you. That is awesome. So, um, I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, I have to go get my other one. One second. So, you guys know I love these. They're filthy. Sorry. These sunglasses. I absolutely love them. They are probably my most favorite. Oh, they are filthy. Most favorite pair of sunglasses I have ever purchased. Um, they're very comfortable to wear all day. My only complaint about them is this... I wish it was just a piece of like a molded nose, um, but that's fine. Uh, because when I put them on my head, they snag in my hair. My hair is a mess, I'm aware. However, these are a little pricey and they're not always available. So I have found a knockoff. Now these are a different color. I'm going to order some that look identical to these or pretty close to, but here is the dark. These are the black ones. Now they're a little smaller. You can see they're a little smaller of a frame than these you, you, I mean you can tell but they're the same shape the same type of you know lens or whatever these are polarized these were $15 $13 12 or $13 Amazon Mary's M-E-R-R-Y apostrophe S I will link them below that she does or they the company has some similar to these which I need to order um, but I wanted to try these first and see what I thought about the quality. Um, I have to tell you, these actually feel sturdier than these. So now that may be because I have put these through the ringer, but <laughs> just so you know, those are my key, my key Australia. So, but I really, really like these. Um, I have been wearing them the last couple of days. Um, they will go to Florida with us this coming week. Um, I can tell you I sort of see a little reflection in them, um, but that, I don't, you know, I don't know what that is. These are very dark lenses, which I really, really appreciate to see. Really as close to a knockoff as you could possibly find, um, with the exception of the lenses being just a hair smaller, um, which some of you may like. I like the bigger lens, you can see. I like the bigger lens personally, but I'm okay with the smaller ones. Um, I just, what I love the most about these is how ginormous they are. So, but if you are looking for 
something like these because I know a lot of you love them, but they're really, they were really expensive. They are an investment piece, which is why I waited for them to go on sale. I got mine for $29, but still, that's a lot of money for sunglasses in, in my opinion. So I'm very, very careful with them. These being, I think they were 12 or $13. So there you go. I'll leave them linked below and I'm gonna try and order the silver lensed ones. I don't know what color they are, but they're similar. I'm gonna try and order them so I can kind of see what I think of them. And then maybe I can take those when I'm going out to the beach or something and I can leave these on the ship. So you guys know I'm obsessed and love sunglasses. I absolutely love them. So, um, I haven't talked about what I am wearing. So, I'm not gonna get to get that video up before I go out of town. And I just, I don't have time to get it done this week and I have been trying to get it done for weeks now and I'm just not gonna have time. So, what I'm gonna have to do is just tell you about it in this video. So these are little tanks, they're swing tanks. Let me adjust this camera down a little bit. They're swing tanks, you see, like this. And it's a double layer tank, like this, from Amazon. And this is a long sweater, long sweater. And then these are the same pants you've seen me wear from Amazon. These are the, I have a denim pair, denim color, and these are the black ones. You guys, this whole outfit was like 40 bucks. I can't even tell you how happy that makes me. That's one of the things I really love. This sweater is fantastic. I have a green one, a red one, and a black one. I wish I had the navy one, but I can't go buy in the navy one right now. But that's how much I love it. Um, I have worn it to Florida, not the green one. I wore the red one and the black one to Florida. Um, the tanks, the tanks are 11 or $12. I now have this burgundy one, a white one, and a black one. I'm waiting for the navy one to come back in stock, but I don't really need the navy one. Um, these are great to wear under sweaters here in Texas because it's really not that cold here. And that's what I wanted to do the video on is when it's in the 40s and 50s, I can wear this in a jacket and I'm fine. Um, so, yeah. That that is the way it is right now. I just don't have time. But I'm gonna leave everything linked below so that you can go and look at it. If, okay, everything will be linked below. Thank you so much for putting up with me and the fact that I am so far behind. I really appreciate it. I will catch up once after the bliss, things should really settle down for me. I hope, please, I hope they do. Good morning. Nope, good afternoon. I know you hear my tea kettle over here. It is 1217, the 6th of November, 84 degrees outside. So I am about to fix a couple of things for the week. Uh, it is, yeah, it's Tuesday. So um, I ran to the grocery store the other day. I know, it's almost done. And I picked up some broccoli florets and some French beans, these are my favorite. So I'm gonna process these very quickly. Um, the broccoli I'm probably not gonna cook right now. No, actually I'll wait on that, but I am gonna cook the green beans. Um, I have brisket, which I made earlier this year, uh, earlier this season, and froze. And um, I have that and the green beans, and I'm gonna cut up some carrots and cook some carrots, so that way I have uh, vegetables cooked for meals this week. Uh, let me make this real quick, I'll be right I um, actually made a cup, a pot of coffee. The dogs are barking, I'm so sorry. Um, this is jicama spears, I forgot to show you that. I really love jicama, like a lot. Um, so I buy it processed like that. I'm sure it's significantly less if I would just buy a whole jicama, but I've like never seen that at the store actually. So um, I'm fine with this but I have to eat all of it. Otherwise, it's a big waste of money and my body is trying to make me sneeze. Ooh. The yard guys just left, <laughs> so it's time for me to sneeze, apparently. So yes, we are gonna go see Grandma. She is coming back to Texas. We don't know with whom, who, with whom. We don't know uh, if, we don't know. It just, it's really all contingent upon when she is released. So there you go. So it'll be really, really nice to have her here in Texas. Um, I don't know how long she'll be here, uh, but um, 
it'll be nice that she'll be here. Although she does get kind of chilly here, even though it's not that cold here. So, but that's what we'll be doing this week while we are with her. Um, we leave later this week. Uh, we will be packing her, getting her a, a substantial amount of things to bring with us so that um, she can uh, travel home and stay for an extended period of time, at least through the holidays, I would imagine. So, which will be nice. It will be nice to have her here. This one wants outside so bad. I know, we can't go outside though. He's outside. You see the size of this cat? I mean, <laughs> yes, but he can't go paws down outside. You're very warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's your Chandler. We haven't seen you in so long. I know you beautiful mama. Yes, say I'm feeling better. I'm on new medicine. <coughs> yes. <coughs> okay. Are you very happy that you're feeling better? Yes, I'm very happy I'm feeling better. I don't have any TVs left in the front. The vet says all my TVs are gone. <laughs> no, you can't swim. No. I know. Look at that. That thing is packed. It's leaf season. So that whole trash can is full of leaves. Yep. Leaves. 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 <laughs> Look at you. Okay. I'm very happy cuz I'm feeling so better. I'm not better, but I'm feeling better. Yes. I know. You guys, we could swim oh. right now. Shh, shh, shh. We could swim right now. It is 83 degrees. It was 87 today. That's so gross. But the cold front's coming tomorrow. <laughs> what? Oh, you think? Look at the pretty sky tonight. Wow. Oh my goodness. I didn't even look up yet today. I mean, at all. All right, there we go. I just uh, filled the memory card, so I had to go put a new one in. But I just think it's beautiful tonight. Just beautiful. The rain is coming in for tomorrow. Beautiful red, reds. Hey, let's see, is this water cold? There's something in it. Oh, yeah, that's some chilly, chilly, chilly water. So, no, I don't think we could swim, but <laughs> it's very chilly. So we are having leftover tacos for dinner. Rob was cleaning out the little thingy. It's cold, you were correct. <laughs> he was like, I know. 
So we're gonna have leftover tacos for dinner. Alrighty. What? Alrighty. And then we're going to do the dishes and go to bed. So just a few more days till we head to Florida. And um, yeah, we finally booked the hotel. That was stressful. What was the hotel? Oh, we we're staying at the Residence Inn, which we've stayed there before. Um, by Marriott Residence in by Marriott. It's where we used to stay when we first started coming to Florida. You'll see that in this vlog. Um, and uh, briefly, because this vlog will get too long. Look at Tommy got in, so I get in. That's the way it works. If my paws aren't wet, I'm not drinking right. She, I don't know why all four paws have to go in in order to have a sip. The, the, the vet said she's fine to have sips every now and then. It won't hurt her, but it should not be her main source of water. It's not. It's not. No, she has her own water. Look at that. Look at you. Now you got wet paws. Mommy was going to vacuum the floor. Wait, come here. Let's walk through the ground. Come here, Fafat. Come see Mommy. Come on. All right. New cloud formation, and we're going inside to finish uh, dinner. Like I said, leftover time. I didn't even make queso tonight. It's just I need to go to the store and buy the appropriate cheese and the ingredients. All right, probably see you in the morning. <laughs> sticking a little bit. You know, it's like grinding against the bottom. The bottom, yeah. I probably should have deglazed it a little bit, but that's all right. Here, use this one. It's a little thick. You want to put some water in it, or you want it thicker like that? I mean, I think that's fine. Okay. It's no thicker than normal. Okay. Spaghetti and turkey meatballs. Yep. Hi. It is 516, the 7th of November. 85 degrees outside. We're waiting on a cool front to come through. Um, you just saw I was cooking dinner, made spaghetti and turkey meatballs. Chandler was helping me. Um, you guys, I'm exhausted. I I'm gonna be perfectly clear, perfectly clear, perfectly blunt. I'm, I'm tired and I'm behind and um, I'm stressing. So uh, I think I haven't even started the Vista vlogs. I know so many of you are waiting for them, but honestly, I, I can't get them done before we go to Florida. I just can't get it done. I have so many other pressing things that are going on right now, and I don't know how I'm gonna get everything done. Good morning. I'm gonna show you something very quickly. We have a Yasmin, a Grayson, and a little dog. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How are you? And a floor that needs to be vacuumed and is on the list to do today. Oh, good morning. It is 8.03, the 8th of November, Thursday the 8th. It's 66 degrees outside. We have a cold front pushing through today. Mm -hmm. So the temperature is going to be dropping over the next few days, a uh, few hours. It'll. I think this is the high like as high as we're gonna be, and then in the, tomorrow we'll be in the 50s. Um, and we'll stay in the 50s for a few days. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so uh, I am about to go get on the treadmill. Rob was able to start a little later today for work, which was really nice. So I am about to throw my hair up, go get on the treadmill, do my run, get my run done, and then uh, get, cool down, take a shower, get dressed, and I'm gonna vacuum the house, I need to vacuum, and then um, I'm going to go have my nails done, and then I'm going to come home and 
uh, jump on the computer or I may pack for Florida and then jump on the computer. I'm not sure which way I'll do it. Um, but either way, uh, today or tomorrow for you, the next five seconds, um, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I've picked up from Amazon, um, sweaters and things like that, that I wanted to share with you guys in a separate video. Um, but I just don't have time to get that video up and I wanted to go ahead and post these things. If I run, if, if I get some time after we get back from Florida before the bliss where I'm able to film this video, then I will still film it because not everybody watches the weekly vlogs. Saturday, it is Thursday. We leave Saturday for Florida. We will be back Tuesday. So, and while we're in Florida, we have to get grandma ready to bring her to Texas. So it's another whirlwind trip to Florida and then we'll be back home. Um, so of course I'll bring you with me. We'll be jumping on a plane. We are not flying in the big seats this time on Spirit, which is fine, but tends to stress me a little bit, a little bit on the plane. It is what it is. And then, um, whatever. So I know I'm being spoiled, but with my anxiety, um, I tend to just be a little more comfortable in the big seats. Who wouldn't be? Anyway, so, um, yes. So like I said, I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm going to go run on the treadmill, get my nails done, th th all that stuff, try and get s some cleaning done in the house. And then while I'm packing, I will show you the things that I'll be bringing to Florida with me. A few hours later, and now we have Grayson with tufts of hair. <laughs> little bit oh and blackie all snuggle kitties on the couch this this morning did you pull your brother's hair out is that why he's on the other side of the couch is that what you did so our couch is so huge we have to have these like lumbar pillows so that we can sit because i i in particular am too short for this couch Anyway, the cushions are all a mess because, you know, it's a couch. It's used. Hi. I know I look terrible. I'm really sorry. Hello. It is Friday, the 9th of November, 11.18 a.m. It is 54 degrees outside. That is our high today. It is raining. I have the windows open. It is a beautiful day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love this weather. Okay, hello. It has been forever since we have been in my bedroom. It sounded weird. Um, having some tea this morning or this afternoon. It is officially afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. Um, I have all the windows open in the house, like I said, so what you hear is my pool pump. I don't, I don't even know if you can hear that. Um, Rob is going to be calling me any minute now. Um, and um, I think that's it. Robbie came home for a little while, so it's later than I intended it to be. Over there is the laundry I'm about to do. It's on my little chair in the corner that I need to put away here shortly. And over here, which I'm gonna turn and show you, is my cat doing weird things, is my hanging rack thing that I use for the clothes I'm wearing in that season. Um, I have more in my closet that I will be pulling out, just not yet. Um, be right back. Jade's calling. Okay, so um, I just, I went for a run this morning on the treadmill uh, and then I just jumped in the shower, but I did not wash my hair because I'm going to get on the treadmill again in the morning and then wash my hair to travel. So uh, flat iron and all that stuff. And I just don't want to fool with any of that today. So uh, I'm not going anywhere and it is what it is. It's going to be like a high of 52 tomorrow when we go to the airport and we'll be outside. We'll be in the little bus. It's going to be great. And then we're going to go to Florida where it's hot. So, so I have to dress like in layers. So what I'm wearing tomorrow, and let's go ahead and get started on that. Let me turn you so you can see. And then after I pull everything out, I know it's dark in here. It's the nature of the beast in this room. Um, after I pull everything out, then I will, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so for sure, tomorrow I'm wearing this. This is the blue jacket I got from Stitch Fix. Um, the little lightweight um, market in spruce zip up cute jacket. What do they call these? 
not a cargo jacket. What's that called? I don't know. Cute jacket. I need to show you something. One second. Hi, little dog. The fall little lookbook I wanted to do is this coat. I usually buy one of these felt coats from Old Navy every two or three years. I really like them. Um, they're very warm and cozy and kind of perfect weight for here in Texas. And this one is so pretty in the cream color with the little faux Sherpa uh, around the collar. Um, and this one's a long coat, which is something I've wanted for a while. I have a big old hoodie on right now, but it's so pretty and white and fluffy and soft. I just, I love it. Well, it still fits me over a hoodie. Um, I just really love it. So I wanted to show it to you uh, so that you can see. This is not a petite, it's regular, and it hits me like right at my knee, just right above my knee. So if you're taller, it won't be this long on you, and or you could get the petite. Um, I liked that it was long. Um, I actually wanted this for two reasons. Two reasons. <laughs> um, for this winter, here in Texas also, and for Alaska. I thought I would wear it if I might need it in Alaska. I like the white. Um, but this is white and this is cream. Does it matter? Do I have to match? Doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm not buying a second beanie. But I just wanted to show this to you because um, it may still be available at Old Navy. I think they had white, black, and red. Or cream, black, and red. I'm not sure of the colors. Um, but it's so soft and so pretty. And um, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to go get it if, if you wanted to. So, because you will see me wearing this in the winter, Christmas and winter. It's not, oh, well, it's cold enough today, but it's not normally, not till January, February. You guys really like this sweater a lot. It's from Amazon. I'll link it below. Uh, this is definitely coming with me this weekend. Um, I just, I think it's so pretty. It's such a nice fall colors. Um, and I also think you could probably wear it in the springtime too. I mean, I just think it's really pretty. This is definitely coming with me my denim jeans so I have the 1822 pair and then two of the Amazon basics uh, jeans I really like these um, really 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 like these so definitely bring it you can see the different wash this is a brighter blue the 1822 is a brighter wash and the Amazon denim is a darker wash and um, I just I really like it I daily ritual that's what it's called daily ritual by the Amazon um, so a pair of those are definitely coming with me. So there's those and Saturday I'll be wearing my outfit. So we need an outfit for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday we come home. Um, and realistically two pair of pants is perfectly fine. Something to sleep in, my running gear, because I'm doing the running every run every day and it is the ninth and I have successfully run every single day. Um, so I don't need a whole lot so that's that's what's happening so we're gonna bring that and then here are these cardigans Let's see it's a longer cardigan on me it is down to my knees at least I love these again pick these up from Amazon um, Celio designed in California I don't know this is a large I'll link it below uh, I love them I have a hunter green black and red um, and I'd like to pick up a navy blue one. I just haven't yet, um, but I love these. They're very comfortable. Uh, they're the right light, nice weight for us here in Texas for a warmer fall, uh, but then enough that you could throw a jacket on underneath over it should you need to. All right, so this is a little tank that I picked up from Nordstrom. I don't think you can really see. It's just a pretty tank for sure, not the burgundy one, the black one. For sure have to wear it underneath a cardigan because it's spaghetti strapped. And then this is a burgundy spaghetti strap I picked up as well. Um, just another little tank from Nordstrom. Both are from Nordstrom. Both were under $10. Uh, they were in their like clear the rack, sale. maybe that's Nordstrom rack, clear the rack sale. Uh, one's halogen and one is the Nordstrom brand. Ooh. I'm not going to be bringing these with me. Um, these are more for wearing at home, um, uh, 
around here. I don't want to really wear it to Florida. But here are the ones that will be coming with me. This is just a big swing tank, just a very comfortable layered tank. I bought it in burgundy, black, and white. Uh, if I could find a cream one, I would order the cream one, but I can't find it. I can't find a cream one. Um, they have gray, they have red, they have navy, they have all sorts of colors. Amazon, again, very inexpensive. I think these were $11 or $10, $10 or $11. Um, just basics, very basic pieces and mix and match. Super easy to wear and travel with. It's that chiffoni material, real easy to... All right. So we are going to wear, this is coming with me, and does this match? Hmm. That looks good. It's not the same burden needs, but I think it looks good. And um, So that's Saturday, Sunday, no, Sunday, Monday. So my outfit, I'm gonna wear this home because uh, it'll be chilly when we get home and this will be fine underneath my big jacket. is from Bad Habit Boutique. Uh, I looked all over Amazon to find one similar and they did not have one. Uh, my husband, Rob, loves this cardigan. Um, so it's very, very long on me. Like, very long. This one comes down to, like, my shin. So, um, but Terry, Southern Yankee, was wearing it and I loved it. So I went out and picked it up, or ordered it. And then I have one other really long one, which is this one. This is from Fashion. It is, again, really, really long. It goes down to my shin, almost my ankle. Um, and I really like this, but uh, I'm going to save this for at home. My camera cut out. Might be comfortable on the plane because it's so, so soft, but I think I'm going to... I'm going to skip it because it's so long, I just don't know how it would look with the jacket that I'm going to be wearing. So, um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'm tired. It's been a week. <laughs> okay, all right, enough rambling. Um, I'm going to pull out the vacuum. I'm sorry, gonna pull out the vacuum and vacuum very quickly the whole house, and then I'm gonna clean the bathrooms because that's what I always do before I go out of town. And um, I mean, I wiped them down yesterday because yesterday was Thursday, but I'm gonna clean, clean them before I go out of town. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't, I don't really know. Um, this lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Chandler and Rob are out back working on the pool. I just, I think I burned my finger a little bit. Cut it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just sauteing some peppers. No some onions and mushrooms, because Rob likes them on his steak. Just a little olive oil in there for now, and then I'll finish it with some butter, because he likes the butter, um, and he likes it drizzled over his steak. That's what he likes. Um, and uh, so I'll be making him that. The potatoes are cooking. My green beans and my carrots are gonna come out of the refrigerator, and I will heat those up. I'm sorry, I was watching Terry. I'm gonna watch the rest of this. for the most. Sorry, rest of this gold girl. How's it going out there? I'm all done. We made macaroni and cheese because the potatoes were burnt. And here is his steak with his onions and his mushrooms. We've got the fire pit going because it's freezing cold out here. Well, it is for us. It is 54 degrees and dropping. Oh, I'm freezing. It's very breezy too. So some breakfast tacos. We're at a place called Taco Real, Real Taco Real. Taco Real. 
something. Yes, because that's the real talk when I wasn't the right place. <laughs> and Rob got fajita tacos and I got barbacoa with a little rice. Cute little place. Somebody must be about to have a 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. Can't see Robert either. We're on the road to the airport and we're going to fly to Florida. It is Saturday. I don't know what time. It's very cold outside. I love it. I'll check in with you in just a second. We left Texas in the wonderful cold. It's disgustingly hot in Florida. <laughs> Get the jacket off. Yes, and I'm in a sweater and jeans. Oh well, that's all right. The cold front arrives here the day we leave. Should we take a shot on the cold front? Take a what? Should we take the shot when you say cold front? Oh. oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to ride in that. How cute and sporty. Look at that little butt. Oh my goodness, you are so sassy. Just making all the required adjustments. What does that say, honey? SOS. Don't push it. It's like, it's like on Star Wars, yeah. Oh! Nice. <laughs> I didn't know what that, uh, my car doesn't do that. <laughs> I love you, Goober. I was trying to turn it off. I didn't realize it was, I, Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna figure out this fancy machine here. I might wanna figure out where the lights are and all that stuff before we off on auto. And um, thank you, honey. Don't need to thank me. I do, it's so pretty. It's so, whoa, brakes work. <laughs> brakes work. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a fun week it's gonna be in our little fancy pants SUV. So if any of you drive a Range Rover Evoque, e what, is it Evoque? Mm -hmm. Tell me how much you love it. <laughs> so you can get one? No, I, uh -uh. I don't want a car payment. Um, so anyway, I just think it's fun. It's fun to drive something fun and fancy for a few days, so. Why we're gonna get the Ghibli someday. Yeah, we're gonna run a Ghib the Maserati, Maserati Ghibli, Ghibli one day. Ghibli. And then a little Mercedes SUV one day, because I like those too. So but um this was an unbelievable deal. So it was lots of fun. Saving money. That's right. We're not spending it, we're saving it. Oh, you need that thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, <laughs> okay we whoa! Sorry. <laughs> We are in the room. We're at the residence in Marriott. I don't know. Um, we have stayed here before. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the room. Years ago, actually, a couple, few years ago, like the first few times we we had been in Florida when after his mom moved here. So anyway, this is just, it's like a little apartment. So I'll show you very cool. Here's our, our door and you walk in and there you go. There's the little living room area little table, little kitchenette, and coffee maker, and you know, there's all sorts of things you might need in the cabinetry. Oh, let me, I think that's the disposal. Let me figure out where, oh, there it is. There we go. Um, there we go, all of that. Little two burner cooktop, microwave, it's usually convection probably a convection oven and then nothing up there nothing up there and the refrigerator which I will kick on the ice maker okay and then we have more things in here so you know nice little usually there's there it is I was gonna say I know there's usually pots and pans there's that and your dishwasher. All right, nice little uh, sitting area and desk. I believe this is probably a couch. 
I mean, uh, so pull out, yes. <laughs> yes, that is a couch. A okay, uh, sofa bed. And then the king size bed over here. And there's the bedroom and the TV, which has all of the little extras on it. I, I appreciate when a hotel has this, you know, you can watch your Netflix, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, I really like that. Something is beeping in here. Um, so, and then, like I said, here's the bed. And then here's the closet, the little vanity area, which is nice and very well lit. You can tell I'm exhausted. I look terrible. <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. Nice, nice bathroom. Clean-ish grout. Mm, so that's fine. So there you go. We're gonna go see grandma right after I catch up my makeup and um, then come back here and <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. It's, um, it's nine o'clock Florida time, but it's eight o'clock our time, but still I'm tired. There she goes, she's uh, running. She's the little black dot. Let's see how the footage comes out. She's doing good. She's out there running. Keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Just keep running, just keep running. She's doing so good. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It is the 11th of November, 9.44 a.m. 71 degrees outside. It's hot here. Um, it is like in the 40s at home. We are stopped at a stoplight and he's going to grab his text message. Um, we are trying to coordinate with family where we're supposed to go and all that stuff. Got it? Okay, so uh, that took a little longer than we expected. It is now 1030. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're headed to Target so that I can look for a Starbucks ornament and then we are going to run to go see grandma, <clears throat> excuse me, and do all the things we need to do today. Um, it was a nice run this morning. Rob vlogged for you. I thought that was very sweet of him. And um, so, yeah. And then we're gonna, grandma gets out of the uh, rehab facility today. We're gonna take her home, get her packed up for Texas. Um, I know a lot of you feel think that she'll be she will not be staying with us. Um, she will be staying with Rob's sister, and um, but you know we will be with her a lot. A lot. Um, so since for lives twenty minutes from us. Yeah. So it'll be it's it'll just be more comfortable for her being with her actual daughter. So um, anyway. And lots of animals. Yeah, and fewer animals, right. Um, grandma is not an animal person, and um, she's allergic to cats, which we have plenty of. Um, so, Rob was not an animal person when I met him, but I fixed him. <laughs> or broke him, whichever one you want, you want to, pref whichever you prefer. Yes. So, anyway. So this is all your fault. Right, it's all my fault. <laughs> Anyway, um, I know my glasses are probably driving some of you crazy. My ears are very crooked. I have one very much higher than the other. Um, so, and I don't often fix my glasses because I don't notice it. So, so all right, we're going to head into Target and uh, do all the things. Do all the things. Oh, all the baby. I'm, I'm so hot. I'm so hot, Daddy. So. Hello. Hello. We forgot to close out the vlog. It's actually Monday, so we're gonna close out the vlog real quick, and then we're gonna start next week's vlog. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are still in Florida. It's been hectic few it, days. It has been very hectic few days. So, um, next week you'll see us flying home from Florida. Yeah. So, um, and something has been plaguing me all day. I keep smelling an electrical smell. It's driving me crazy. Like, I had to get out of the elevator because I thought 
it was having an electrical problem. That is the weirdest thing, and I don't know what it is. It's so weird. I can smell it here at the hotel, too. I don't know. I'm just... Maybe it's you. Maybe it's me. I have a very sensitive nose. Like, I mean, he calls me, I tells me I have a bloodhound nose. Yes. So, anyway. All right. No, so... He goes, do you smell that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Well, thank you very much for spending another week with us, spending mm -hmm. more time with us. We really appreciate it. Um, and, um, yeah, we will see you next week when we will be heading home and then home, but only home for a very short amount of time yes. before we head off to the bliss. So I know hopefully by the time you see this, I'll have some up, but I know you guys are waiting for the Vista. I'm sorry. This has just been a very hectic month. month. <laughs> Um, we certainly didn't plan on grandma breaking her hip. We didn't plan yes, on did. <laughs> we, lazy. There you go. You I'm just doing nothing. Do yeah. So you're just putting it's, it off on grandma. <laughs> it has just, he's kidding. He, it has just been very, very hectic and we just have, I have not had a minute to get it done. And, um, but hopefully by the time, are you laughing? No, I would never laugh at you. <laughs> hopefully by the time you see this, I'll have at least gotten one or two up. Um, but like I said, we are going to air them a little bit slower than we have in the past with vlogs. And then Bliss, Bliss, I'm not planning to upload Bliss until after Vlogmas. So, and we are doing Vlogmas. It'll be the 12 days of Vlogmas. So we will vlog, I think, from December 12th or through 13th. 24th. Is, yeah, well, no, I think it's the 13th through the 25th because it's the next day. I don't... I believe you. I don't know. I, I, it's something like that. Um, and, um, but we will be doing that and then um yeah and then we'll start uploading uh bliss so anyway i know you guys are so excited and, and that means so much to us i really really appreciate it thank you very much for watching um and being excited to see the the vlogs and everything that that really means a lot to us and i'm sorry that it has taken me some time we just we have to give grandma the priority right now and you know some stuff that's been going on at home and work and things like that it's uh it's just been a little overwhelming. It's all good. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Good night. Bye.